गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष सबवाल प्रोस्टेट कैंसर स्पेशलिस्ट एंड रोबोटिक सर्जन फ्रॉम न्यू डेली इंडिया एंड आई ऑफन गिव यू वीडियो इंटरव्यूज ऑफ पेशेंट्स हुव अंडरगॉन रोबोटिक सर्जरी फॉर प्रोस्टेट कैंसर टूडे आई हैव अ पेशेंट विद मी ही इज अ सिक्सटी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड मेल फ्रॉम नाइजेरिया एंड ही केम टू मी अबाउट थ्री वीक्स अगो ही वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम प्रोस्टेट कैंसर ही हैड अ वेरी फनी स्टोरी एट द एज ऑफ फिफ्टी ही हैड एन एन लार्ज प्रोस्टेट एंड ही अंडरवेंट ओपन सर्जरी फॉर द प्रोस्टेट at the age of 50 and that time he thought that the whole prostate has been removed so he was not checking his psas after that because he thought there was no prostate suddenly in a health check up he did a psa and it came as elevated and he was quite surprised that how the psa is elevated when there is no prostate so then he found out that his surgery was done for enlargement and not for cancer so this is also one thing which i want to tell the patients that enlarged prostate and cancer treatments are different when we do laser surgery or we do open prostatectomy for enlargement all those things are for opening the channel so some part of the prostate is blocking the urinary passage and we open the channel by those surgeries it is not the full removal of the prostate which is done in the cancer treatment so some patients come to me and say that i am having prostate cancer do laser surgery my friend also underwent laser surgery so that is not the treatment for prostate cancer because laser surgery just opens the channel it does not remove the full prostate so if somebody has had a enlarged prostate treatment he should not think that there is no prostate and should still continue to do the psa testing every year just like somebody who has not had any surgery so when he first contacted me from nigeria his psa was around 28 so we explained to him that he will need to come to india and we will do a pet scan to make sure that the cancer is still confined to the prostate and only then we will do the further treatment so when he came we did a pet scan pet scan showed that it was stage 1 cancer and therefore we decided to do robotic surgery on him it was a complicated case because he had already had a open surgery and there were a lot of adhesions it took longer than usual but luckily there was no blood loss his recovery was quick he did very well after surgery and today his biopsy reports were out and it shows that the cancer was still confined to the prostate and all the margins are negative so it's a very good report and he is happy he is going back tomorrow so let us listen to him his experience about the whole thing and also listen to his lovely wife what she has to say about her treatment with me and at apollo hospital okay thank you very much dr ashish the treatment was fine Uh, after the surgery a day after the surgery I was asked to walk about and I told the man don't hold me I can walk I can walk 5 km he was surprised I took him round the hospital the man was very surprised because I had no pains nothing I was as fit as a fiddle so I am here to testify that the surgery was good it was seamless everything about my journey here was seamless and the doctor was very nice that is why i volunteered to give this interview otherwise i wouldn't do it yeah so the main problem which the patients while coming to india they have is the visa was it difficult to get the visa uh, it was the uh, indian embassy in nigeria is found one thing because it took so long visa took almost one month they told us six days mm. they told me six days working six working days but it took one month mm. And eventually, it was when I went to the embassy to find out what is the position mm. that I found out the visa had been ready a week before. They did not inform me, so mm. I didn't know until I said, "Let me go and check what has happened." Okay. So that process was not good. The embassy should improve on that. There right. should be communication. Okay. Then today only actually one patient messaged me like he's also got his visa. They have require. They are now requiring COVID vaccination also. Are you vaccinated? Vac- No, I didn't do any vaccination. So did they object? Uh, no, they did not object. Yellow card. Yellow card. Yeah, yes. Yellow, 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 yellow fever yes. is mandatory. Yes, yes. Okay, I because he he just card. messaged me that they had written that COVID vaccine is mandatory, but uh, it's not. No COVID vaccine. I have never taken a COVID vaccine in my life. Okay. Yes. Fine. That's good. I'll tell him just now after the interview. He'll be but happy. Yellow card. Yeah. Yeah. But I had a yellow card. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So. Anyway, so then you got the visa. Flight was comfortable. Flight was okay, no mm. problems. Okay. Came here. It's a long was, flight. It's a long flight. Yeah. Came here. I was well received at the airport. Mm. I sent me photograph of the man, and when I came, he had my name, and I walked to him, and then we came. 
went to the hotel, mm. comfortable place to stay. Okay, the people very nice. In the hospital, nurses excellent. Every doctor that had anything to do with me, excellent. Okay, yes. very good. I'm very happy. And what about the food? Like, were you comfortable with the food at the guest house? Yeah, the food is nice. Okay, it the food was good. It was good. It's as per the Nigerian. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Yes. Good. That's good. And uh, now, how are you feeling? Like, are you happy about the whole with the catheter out and all? I'm very, uh, very happy. I'm very happy. Okay. Everything is moving fine with me. Okay. Great. Yeah. I look forward to returning to my country tomorrow to continue my life. Yes, <laughs> that will be nice. And uh, would you like to tell something about the whole experience? Well, yeah, the, the whole experience for me was from the was from the airport. You see, the guy that was to pick us up mm. sent us his picture. Yeah. So and then told us the gate. Yeah. So it was so seamless. It was our first time in India, but it was looking like We've already been here because we just moved to the gate mm. and then there he, who he was and then we had a picture of him already mm. and and then so you're comfortable because we're thinking who is going to pick us mm. you know we hear some things about india you know we have to be careful but here we were with someone that we already had his picture okay. and then the guy in the hotel too mm. was you know keeping up with us and chatting okay he's outside okay where are you mm. and all of that on whatsapp that's so nice. it was seamless, the tension was not there, getting into town okay. and then settling in of course. The guy, the Gopal, was, oh, well, he's, he's just such a nice guy. Yeah. And then in the hospital too, the, the, the secretary, your secretary too, mm -hmm. was, was just, you know, it was seamless, everything was seamless. The, the language would have been a barrier, but because we had him, mm -hmm. you know, he was always like telling us, Oh, this is what they want. Oh, that's what they want. Because if you're alone there, you'll be so lost. Right. right. And Apollo is so large. Yeah. <laughs> so again, there was no anxiety of what next, what next. We're always like, oh, Anand, oh, Anand, oh, Anand. So the whole experience for me is just is like 100%. Okay, yeah. very nice. Now, hold, let me say something. Yeah. There has been news in Nigeria that the harvest organ in India. <laughs> Okay. Apollo Hospital yeah. is a mighty hospital. Mm. Yeah. No such nonsense can take place there. Yeah. It's so so well organized. NSD yeah. has called the hospital excellent. Mm. Excellent. I don't know the owners, but I say from my experience, mm. at every department, excellent. They even have international land where no Indian goes in. Only international it's patients. So well organized. It's well organized. Right. So well organized. And I also have to add that the hospital is so clean mm. that I could even perceive medical Any medicine, the, the medical you, know, you think medical. that you're in a hotel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. So the experience is good. Excellent. Thank you. So the people who will be seeing the video, they might be suffering from prostate cancer or they might just be having elevated PSA or they just might be having just a prostate. So would you like to give some message to them? Yes. I think every man up to 50 should be checking his PSA. Yeah. I thought that I did not have prostate again, so I never kept checking. Mm. So whenever any person had prostate, I said, God has delivered me from I did not know. I still, until, for strange reasons, I went for a medical examination. And yeah. then my doctor said, let's do a PSA. I said, do I still have prostate? He said, yes. Mm. So every male should do it. After 50, please do your PSA. Yeah. The earlier you, can the do earlier you discover it, the better for you. Because yeah. if it has gone to stage 4, there is nothing the doctor would do. Mm. That's true. So if you do a regular PSA testing and you diagnose the cancer at early stage, it is totally curable by robotic surgery. Mm -hmm. So that is the important message, which uh, very nice message you've given. So friends, I hope you liked the interview. These are our earlier patients, but now my friends and they are now going back to Nigeria tomorrow. tomorrow and if you or anybody of your family are suffering from prostate cancer and you want to consult me you can consult me on email or whatsapp my email address and whatsapp number are given in the description thank you thank you, thank you. Okay.